All right, welcome to this um, introductory AutoCAD lesson. Uh, I believe that you will um, have the best of the session. Uh, the first thing I want to say is let you know that AutoCAD is not difficult. AutoCAD is easy, so don't um, have the mindset that uh, it's a difficult course or a difficult um, software to use. So in the next few minutes, I'm just going to show you uh, some basic tools that you will need to use in AutoCAD to make your work faster, to make it easier. Uh, this is not exhaustive. I believe in subsequent um, lessons, you will understand some of these tools more um, appropriately. So the first thing you do is start up your AutoCAD file. So depending on where you have, you can actually for some of you, you may have to go to the startup. Uh, you go to start and then you open, you, you locate your AutoCAD software where you have installed it. And then you click on start a drawing. Ideally, it should actually give you two options. It can ask you to start as a, a new drawing. Uh, uh, let's see if you say new. So it can actually ask you if you want to start it as an ACAD or an ACAD 3D. So if you are drawing in AutoCAD 2D, so you just click on the ACAD for 2D. If you want to draw in 3D, you click on the ACAD 3D. Later on, I'm going to show you how to change uh, for those of some of you that maybe uh, for those who uh, how to change, you know, from um, 3D to 2D. Uh, as as we progress so we are just going to be using the AutoCAD um, 2d for now and then we click on open so note the file extension so I clicked on new so note the file extension is a drawing template so you have other templates that are present in AutoCAD you have for those who are in architectural you have for those who different templates that have already named styles so but um, let's just make do with the you know, you know, from scratch, draw from scratch, and just use the AutoCAD. So, with respect to the software your version you are using, 2015, 20. I'm using 2015 for this um, session, so you could be using um, 2010, 2020, 2019, whichever version you use. The difference would just be made probably the interface uh, that you have here. Some of the way this interface are arranged will be a bit different. So, let me just give you a brief overview of this AutoCAD um, interface. Uh, I think that will just suffice for the class today. Now, basically, you have um, your home tab, your insert, your annotate, your parametric, your view, your manage, your output, your add-ins, your AutoCAD. These are all um, online tools. And then your BIM360, these are more recent versions. If you have older versions of AutoCAD, you may not find this, some of these tools there. But for now, we'll just be um, narrowing down our sessions to home, insert, uh, probably we're using the annotate. And then we use uh, the view and the manage and that will be all for for this um, session so what we're going to do is now if you open your autocad file uh, autocad has a very interesting way it you know pro um, you know gives you access you know to drawing you know um, efficiently drawing intelligently and drawing accurately so compared to just like your usual drawing styles you know you draw on the, uh, on the you, you do your drawings on the drawing board you have a T-square, you have other, you know, your set squares, you have your French curves. So all of those tools are being integrated here in CAD uh, so that, you know, life is made easy for you. So what's the meaning of AutoCAD? AutoCAD actually means um, CAD, CAD means Computer Aided Design. And then we use, uh, when you say auto, something automated, it means uh, it's actually drawn, uh, uh, you know, uh, faster and makes life easier for you. So interestingly, uh, AutoCAD is actually a product of Autodesk and um, Autodesk is a software manufacturer that produces several um, applications. They have Revit, they have several uh, industry standard applications that are used you know for different 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 industries so but card autocad itself is actually more like the mother of all you know so every uh designer the 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 the, the, the architect the mechanical engineer the electrical engineer can actually use autocad once you have got proficiency with it so what the first thing you need to do is <clears throat> you observe that you have tools so let me start with the home tool so in the home tab you have um, these draw tools you know in groups grouped you have the modified tools that are grouped you see the annotation tools that are grouped you see the block tools you see the layer tools and you see the properties now in what you're doing in card basically is you know every object is made up of lines lines and curves okay and the line is a distance between two points now you can also have other um, objects in autocad like polylines like circles like arcs like um, rectangles like um, ellipse and so many other tools that are available in AutoCAD. Now, when you have made these drawings, you can also uh, choose to modify this drawing. So typically, if you're gonna draw a line, uh, say you pick a point in the line, 
pick a line click on the line you click the first point so you see i set up some things and that's why it's asking give me give me dynamically asking me to you know uh, there's a dynamic follow-up on the screen of what i want to do so i say click the first point click the next point click the next point click the next point next point next point next point so until i stop you know it's going to keep um, you know following me about so until i click the end the end of the program is going to keep following me about so when i'm done i click on the escape where i hit the enter key or i right click on my mouse and i click enter so if i click a line for example the first line the second line and i want to cancel this i can right click and click on enter or i hit the escape key or i hit the enter key on the keyboard so you see these are three ways you can do that now these same objects i've drawn on the screen uh, let me just let's just uh, do some rough practice so we can draw a line i've shown you how to do that. the first point the last point i click enter we can draw a circle uh, it's a, this object all have interesting properties so the circle has a center and then it has a radius so we can draw an arc different types of arc three point arcs but you may just be fine with three point arcs it's very really arc has a start point has a midpoint and has an end point you can also draw a poly line now the different now the difference between poly line and the line is that you see the point is something is poly more than one okay means something is poly so the poly line you can actually draw um, several objects so let's say i draw a line uh, up to this point and then i want to change the, uh, the object from this point and i want to say draw an arc so I just open the use the arrow key down and then you open that fly out button so you change to an arc and then you see the arc draws this arc this way and then you see and i, I want to continue and say no i want to draw this time i want to turn it back to a line you know so line just hit the enter key and then uh, I say fine I'm done with the line I want to turn it back to an arc you know and then I close the arc here so you can actually do this using lines and arcs but the difference you will observe very quickly is that if you use the poly line you see it comes out at one object but if I use lines and arcs I will have more than one object let me show you very quickly so you have a line okay okay uh, let's draw the line a line let's draw an arc okay so I draw another line then I complete it with an arc so I'm you're gonna notice uh, something as you try it on your own system the difference between both of them you notice that this is one object but this is you have you see you see they are fragmented already so you have like you know one two three you can see you have different um, center points and all of those things so that's the difference between the polyline and uh, uh when you use lines and arcs so polyline is beautiful especially when we are drawing 3d objects when we are um, extruding we will see to create solid objects it will be very very useful so you can actually go on to draw all the objects so i want you to try that on your own to so draw the rectangle draw the polygon um draw the the ellipse draw the try the hatch you know and try other draw tools that are available there are so many of them the spline so they are quite easy to use and anyway you have issues uh, just um, we will send the charts and then i will respond to those questions that you have so that's going to be our first assignment so you need to try up all these draw tools and then um, that will be wonderful so once you've done that the next thing you want to do is that um, you want to edit these tools okay modify them and all that so now before we go into modifying let me now uh, introduce to the fact that what you've been drawing on this is called the model space uh you can also change the properties of this model space whatever it is you want notice that just by the side you have a ucs you have this xy um icon okay so that's like your user coordinate system tells you where the y direction the positive y direction the positive x direction is on your on your screen so this model space is like an infinite drawing space okay it's like you have and then don't forget now you know if you notice uh when we're drawing it was asking us for points so you see 39 that's x 19 that's y so point x and point y point x and point y so that's why we call it the model space it's a space it's like you know have it you know if you if you now have the, the the 3d if you're in 3d space you have the x y and the z now just below it you see you have the layout spaces 
Your layout space is also referred to as a paper space. So usually you can also use it for drawing, but most times it's to actually prepare your drawing, you know, for um, publishing, for printing and all that, and it becomes very, very useful. So that will be useful. Um, we'll see that much later. Now, you also have some other tools down uh, just below your, depending on how your buttons are arranged, but you should see some tools here. Uh, you can see things like the grid you can notice that you have like a graph sheet on this screen i can turn on and turn it off just using this grid mode you can see you have your snap mode uh you have two two types of snaps you have polar snap you have grid snap you have the auto mode you have the um you have the polar tracking you have the isometric draft you have the um, snapping reference lines you have the um, object snap and so many other tools that are very useful here so you can turn on and turn off the grid you can also um, constrain we want to restrict co your cursor to move to go now if this is what we're trying to draw the line to the line you see we we're trying to draw a straight line and we you know imagine you're just trying to um, you know uh, strain your eyes to see how it's going to come out straight but you don't need to do that in AutoCAD you just need to click on this auto tool click on your line pick the first line and then you see it's as straight as you know you want it to be so okay so now let's just look at this modifying tools uh, very briefly and then uh, probably in the next video you will I will demonstrate some of these um, tools down here and that will be a good way for you to start off. So let's, I'm going to turn off this grid. I'm going to turn off the grid and then I'm going to click on, say, you, you have several modified tools. You have move. I'm just going to demonstrate like three or four of them. You're going to try out the others. So you click on the move. So if you want the tool, if you want the command to be active, you click on it. It will always ask you to select an object to apply that command. And then you need to click at, hit the enter key. And then you know it's asking for the base point. So a base point is like anywhere you want to move this from, and then ask you for the second point, the way you want to move it to. So click, hit, and the move. Click on you know the command. Click on the command. This is copy, for example. You select the object, you hit the enter key, you see it asks you for a base point, you pick a point, and then you can duplicate. So until you click on the exit key, escape key, the command remains active okay the command remains active now the next thing you want to use is uh, let's use the trim tool so i'm going to click on line let's assume i have a crossing line in this direction turn on my auto in this direction and then i want to trim now to use the trim tool you know it's like you have most you should have a knife edge uh I, you can also you can trim you can extend so if i use the trim uh, and I click on this and I you have to select the object so you know you have to there has to be a crossing line and then click on enter so the question is select object to trim or shift select to extend so if I'm trimming this option you can see because it intersects with this this is like the knife so if I want to cut off this portion this becomes like the knife edge so you see how it works so I click on this for example I click on this for example so you see uh, this will not trim because it's not it's not uh, it's not you know it's not crossing okay so it will not trim it so there's no you cannot see any crossing edge so that's um, that's the way it works now you can try all that yourself you can try the mirror you can try the extend you can try the um, array and then um, the offset the explode and so many other tools that you have here uh, the offset the explode are very easy to use uh maybe i should just explain the array tool very very quickly so in the array you, let me explain uh the you have the rectangular you have the part you have the polar okay uh usually it's very easy so i'm sure you can try uh all of these tools uh i will just try to send some explanations uh so that you can actually um and try them out yourself all right so um watch out for the next video and some of the other um explanations like how to um, recover a lost drawing file how to use some of these um, tools down here the the the, um, the object snap the snapping reference planes i will explain them uh, in the next video thank you